So I'm sitting in the photo photo studio here with bags and bags of stuff that we got at the Goodwill outlet today. We went to the bins. We spent about three and a half hours and ended up coming out with almost a hundred pounds of stuff. We spent $92. Um, our bins, if you get over 50 pounds, then um, you the price goes down to 93 cents a pound. So really good deal. So much stuff to show you guys. But um, I wanted to ask you really quickly, I want to start filming some more informational videos. I know I've been putting up a lot of hauls and just full disclosure, I have a lot on my plate right now um, with school and I actually work at a coffee shop like a day a week and um, I have a 16 month old baby so and this business and so um, it's a lot. Uh, but so hauls are really easy to film and get up for you guys and you seem to enjoy them and I really like hauls. I like watching them myself. It's just fun to see what people find. But um, I also want to add some more informational videos that might help you guys in your businesses. Um, so let me know if you would like to see me looking up comps for these items and just to show you my process of figuring out how I'm going to price things. Or would you like to see like what's sold from my last bins haul so you get an idea of like a return on our investment. Um, let me know if you like any of those ideas. I'm gonna put a poll up on my Instagram, but you can also leave a comment below if you're watching this weeks after I post it and the poll's gone. Um, I read every single comment, um, so let me know what you'd wanna see, um, or if you have any other ideas or questions about selling on Poshmark, let me know. Um, so, but let's get into the haul. I just wanted to add that because I know I've been putting up a lot of hauls, but I definitely want to add value to this community. There's so many amazing YouTubers that put up really great information and I have lots to share too. So let me know what you'd like to see, but let's just get into this haul because it's getting kind of late and I want to go to bed. My hanging stuff first. Um, this first thing is kind of funny. Um, I actually bought this for myself. It's just like, I, obviously somebody like chopped the sweater off, but I thought it's cute. I love this color, um, little sweater, uh, but let's get into the good stuff. <laughs> um, the first thing is this Barefoot Dreams robe. Get the tag out for you so you can see it. Um, I can like feel these like right away. I'm like, I know it's Barefoot Dreams. Um, this is in a size one. Their sizing is kind of funky, but I believe their size one is like a small, uh, medium. And this obviously needs to be deep held a little bit, but these sell super fast for me. So I'm surprised that they had to pull this from like a regular Goodwill location. Um, they usually sell for like 35, 40 bucks for me. Uh, this is a theory like down vest. I thought was good for the season. Another Barefoot Dreams robe. I was super shocked to find two of these. This one's in a size two. Again, needs to be washed and cleaned up a bit. Again, this was at the, I think the same Goodwill. So I don't know if these like got forgotten in the back room, didn't get put out or something, but yeah, super cozy. I've never found a black one before and this is uh, the newer tag, I believe. So keep an eye out for those. They sell super fast. This guy has seen better days. This is obviously a North Face coat um, that needs to be cleaned up quite a bit, like even more than I realized in the store. Um, but just really nice, like Sherpa lined um, winter coat. I just sold the North Face coat. It sold super fast for 50 bucks. Um, so at the bins, it's a really great flip. And I thought if nothing else, this will be a, an experiment for stain removal for me. The next thing, oh, I have it on the hanger backwards, is Vince. Let's get it going the right way. Oh, hold please. Okay, super soft, feels like cashmere. Um, the content tag, it was taken out. Also, I think the size tag, unfortunately. But once I was sorting these things, I noticed a couple pinholes. So I might just keep this for myself um, or it might be going back to Goodwill. I don't know, we'll see. The next thing, uh, the next several things are probably going to Plato's Closet. They're Target items. Um, this is really cute. Who, what, where dress. I really like the pattern on this. It's like kind of a dainty floral pattern. The Target stuff did really well at Plato's Closet the last time. This is also Target. 
see if I can show you. It's a jumpsuit. Really cute olive green. Another olive green who, what, wear piece. Um, sorry, this is hard to show you. Dress, belted dress, and the belt is with it. This is adorable. Super soft American Eagle. Like distressed v-neck shirt. American Eagle soft and sexy. Um, striped shirt, the J -ing T. Um, I might keep this for myself. Really cozy. Also this airy pullover sweatshirt. I don't know. I might try listing these things in my Poshmark closet because American Eagle has been doing pretty well for me lately. It's not like a huge return. Um, but when you're getting this stuff from the bins for less than a dollar, um, you know, getting like $15 for an item like this is a great return. Victoria's Secret Pink. It's got the logo on the back. This is a kid's North Face. Let's see. Kids small, really cute color in perfect condition. Um, this guy is hanging backwards. I bought this. It's like a vintage champion crew neck. I just really like the wear on this. I don't know. It's like frayed. I might keep this for myself because I love cozy sweatshirts. It's like what I live in. Um, okay. Sorry. The lighting's not great. Um, Nike dry fit, um, running long sleeve. Um, let's see. This, uh, I didn't actually intend on buying. It was one of those things that was in my cart to look up later. Never did. Um, this is the brand Spire. I think these are sold on Amazon for like 40 bucks. So I don't know. It feels really nice. It's got like a nice weight to it and it's in brand new condition. So this, <laughs> you guys are probably like, what in the heck? I actually love this. 100% cotton, like vintage robe and it's got like little llamas on on it and like kind of an aztec -y geometric print little birds it's kind of like a tribal design and I think this is amazing I'm obsessed with this robe <laughs> so I don't know uh, this is way too big for me maybe it'll fit Tyler or we'll I'd probably be listing this um this is cute little Maeve button up again this sat at goodwill let's see how much was it 419 it's not a terrible price if you're buying this for yourself it has adorable little puffins on it um perfect for this time of year so if i was buying that for myself 419 is a great price and this the date on it that's a tip for you guys um there's always a date on the tag so um if you want to know like how long it's been sitting there, you can definitely check that out on the tags. But this is 1113 and today is like the 24th. So it didn't sit at Goodwill for very long. So I don't know if things are sitting in the back and then they can't get them all out on time. So then it's going to the bins. I'm not sure if that's what's happening. That's totally a theory based on nothing. So <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Um, the next two pieces are vintage um, Victoria's Secret little like camis. I just really am liking silky camis lately. Um, this is a large. Again, this was at Goodwill 11.13. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm on to something there. Um, okay. Another Victoria's Secret. This one's a little bit newer. This one does not have a Goodwill tag on it. This is Z Supply. And as I'm pulling this out, I am noticing stain there so we'll see um but just really soft little star hoodie zella let's see again from the goodwill this one's 11 15 so it's only a couple days later um looks like maybe gig harbor i don't know um and they have this priced at 419 so pretty good price it's got cute little like slits here I really like selling Zella leggings. They sell within a couple days for me. So um, Tyler found this Zella top and it's in really good condition. It's super cute. So I thought I'd try it out. I haven't sold their tops as much. So we'll see how that goes. Another Tyler find. Odile? Odell? I don't know. This is uh, <laughs> Anthropology. It is late at night. I'm sorry. It's 
got like a smocked top and the color's beautiful. It's in really good condition. Oh my goodness, ripping things off. This is just a North Face of like performance button up. I don't know, it's like, it feels like the um, Columbia PFG like fishing gear. Ah, show me your moo moo. I was stoked to find this at the bins. It's not necessarily one of their higher like resale value pieces. Um, this is like people wear these for as like bridesmaids, but I love this color and at the bins. Yes, so excited about that. Um, this is so cute. Tyler found this like Aztec print, lucky brand cardigan. Love that. Oh, another Tyler find. It's really cool, like buttery soft Christian Dior um, blazer. So cool. It's like teal. I love that. It's definitely vintage um, men's. It's like a larger size, but we had to pick that up. It's a Nike Air t-shirt. Um, I think that's kids, so that might be going to my local consignment store. This, somebody please tell me how to hang this because it's a twisted mess, but it's Lululemon. Needs some deep pilling, but I thought this is a really cool piece. Um, kind of like a yoga top. This, Catman do. Um, I've never sold this before, but oop, well, there it goes. Um, comps look pretty good. It's really cool. Tie dye. Most of their stuff is tie dye, from what I can tell. Um, that guy down there is Zella top. <laughs> Not super interesting. Um, this I've never sold before. Never heard of this brand. Philosophy Dane Lewis, hundred percent cashmere. Really cute little waterfall open cardigan. A Adidas. I love selling Adidas. It sells super fast for me. Um, track jacket, cool color. And this was a, I didn't mean to buy it. Um, ended up in the cart somehow. Uh, men's Under Armour polos. So we'll put it up. Maybe it'll sell. Maybe it won't. I don't know. Okay, I have, okay, I have one home item. It's this beautiful like mustard. See, I love this mustard color. Um, pillow. It's really good size in perfect condition. Um, there's a couple, as you can see, it is down filled. There's a couple of feathers sticking out but it is in perfect condition I love it Tyler was like we're not keeping that <laughs> so I'll definitely put that up for sale um I've been listing a few home items here and there in my closet I have not sold any yet so stay tuned for that but I thought this was beautiful I couldn't leave it there and so that is the one home item I found two pants. I have an entire Ikea bag of pants. Um, I picked up a ton of American Eagle. These I noticed have a flaw on the back right here. I might still list these and then obviously um, disclose the wear on them, but they're a really good size. Um, they're a size 16 and they're the high rise jeggings. These are Gap high rise jegging. These are some of my favorite jeans to wear. Um, unfortunately, I don't think these are my size yet. <laughs> They're a zero. So not for me, but they uh, will be up in my closet. Okay, the next thing are just a pair of good old distressed Levi's. These have been selling like hotcakes for me. I priced them at about $25. And at the bins, like I'm paying like a dollar for these. You can't beat that return. Um, I'm getting like anywhere from like $18 to $14 back. Um, these are some vintage Carhartts. Again, Carhartt is selling really well for me. I think it's really trendy. Um, so if I find it at the bins, I pick it up because we've just sold three Carhartt jackets this week. Just this week. Three of them. Carhartt. I'm telling you, pick it up. It's selling. It's hot for us. Again, Carhartt overalls. I have no idea what size these are, but they're really cool, like army green color. Excited about that find. Tyler found those. Oh, this is another Tyler find. Madewell. Um, these are the nine inch high rise skinny. These aren't my size. 
I really want to keep them. They've got the like distressed me raw hem. So cute. I love navel jeans. Okay, this might be a bolo for you guys. Um, I looked this up. They be like tunic tops or like tank tops. Um, sell for like $40, $50. There's not a ton of leggings on Poshmark. There's like, I can find like one other one. So that's either like a good or a bad thing. I don't know anything about this brand other than like I looked up comps really quick and the tops looked insane. Like for a tank top, like $40 to $50 crazy but it's new moo new moo i don't know but i thought these were really nice leggings they've got a little ruched detail they're cute grab those on a whim i didn't even look at the comps in the store i just got lucky with those well we'll see I, if it was a tank top i'd be stoked but um we'll see how the leggings do i'll let you guys know these are vintage rustler like very lived in high rise jeans like i said like vintage any vintage denim like high-rise mom jeans dad jeans whatever you want to call them they're selling like hotcakes for about 25 bucks for me so i pick them up when i can find them again calvin klein very distressed um these are actually really cropped so i think i'm gonna cut these into shorts um i just sold a pair of shorts a couple days ago so doesn't matter the time of year if they're cute it, they'll sell uh, another American Eagle jegging. These are in a size two. <laughs> Good old American Eagle. Um, these are like a current tag, I think. Let me see. Yeah, these were um, five, so May 2018. Um, let's see super high rise jegging in a size 14 and they're the like really really distressed guys those are cool um tyler was stoked to find these <laughs> because so these are rock and revival rock revival i have never sold these at if you like watch any reselling videos you've probably heard of these jeans i don't even know if they still do well but Tyler constantly pulls out Rock and Republic and I'm like no it's the other one Rock and Revival and so he found these today and he was stoked um, we had to get them whether they'll sell or not um, I'm sure they'll sell they're really like they've got cute like leather detail in the pockets um, let's see what size are you I don't know I don't know oh here we go size 27 and pearl skinny so that's a great thing too that they're like the skinny leg um because like the boot cut ones don't sell quite as well these are really cool i think these are the tech shorts i don't know well you nike out experts out there um it's got the taped um like zipper seams and like a paint splatter um and i think these are kids because they're an extra large. Love these. Um, Nicole State always talks about the like uh, joggers. She gets them for her son. Um, and these are like in brand new condition. So excited to list those. Somebody will love those for their kid. Another American Eagle um, high rise jegging. These are in a size zero, which is like the classic gray color. The other Lululemon piece that I found, um, this actually still has a tear tag in them and a pair of these, I just sold a pair of these today. I got a blue pair the last time I um, went to the bins and they sold for 30 bucks today. So I was really happy with that. I was don't even weigh a pound. So um, this is kind of an experimental item. These are Calvin Klein jeans. I just like the style. They're super high rise, really nice stretch cities. They're in a size 32. They've got the um, raw hem. We'll see how that goes. Even if I get 15 bucks for them, that's a really great return. And then um, this is a pajama brand, um, PJ Salvage. I sold this brand before. They make really, really, really cute pajamas. It's got like, they're like a thermal and then it's got a little lace detail and little like lace up ankle. I love these. I wish they were in my size. 
these look super cozy this was another item with a goodwill tag i want to show you guys these so um this is 10.29 so these sat at a regular goodwill either in their back room i don't know or on the floor nobody wanted it um <laughs> since october 29th so i don't know we'll see how those do on posture and next is some kid stuff don't get too bored because i've got a crap ton of boots to show you guys so many good things uh, but I'll really quickly show you the kids stuff for those of you that are interested. Really cute. Jimbery. I love this sweatshirt. It's way too big for Nora. I wish it wasn't. I would keep it for her. But it says be different on the back. Really cute like embroidered patchwork. And a little winky face on the front. I love this. This is a size extra small kids. This is so cute too. It's a little shaggy jacket. This is a six x um adorable again if this was not a size i would keep it for her i love that okay so one thing i am keeping for nora are these adorable little boots um they say elk leather on the bottom i don't think there's any brand um we looked it up it says elk skin but it's like some kind of nordic language basically just for elk leather so these are adorable and they'll keep her feet super warm in the winter and then these will be passed on to somebody else. This really nice fluffy uh, Nordstrom VP scarf. Little kids Adidas hoodie. Really cute. Just a little like t-shirt hoodie. These are so cute. Um, these are a little too big for Nora, but they're like a little skinny pant in a 4T. This stuff will be going to um, kids' consignment store. Um, this is Old Navy 4T. This is for my nephew. I love that. So cute. Um, another little Old Navy dress. Also going to consignment. These are Joe's jeans, little embroidered Rahim jeans. These actually probably would fit Nora, but these will probably go to consignment as well because she just doesn't really wear that sort of thing very often. Little Hannah Anderson, red and white striped. Um, they're like 100% cotton. They're in a size 70, I think. I don't know what that translates to in Hannah Anderson. And then this is Paisley Prince. I've never heard of before, but really cute little. <laughs> camo joggers so that's all going to kids consignment um oh i found a straggler top in here patagonia a little tank top cute striped cotton tank this was <laughs> they wanted 9.99 for this tank top at goodwill this sat there since 10 17 so and this has ol on it i think this is all the way in olympia so and where I got this is like an hour and a half away from that. So it's interesting like how things are distributed. I'd like to know more information about that. Um, these are also going to consignment. They just say be mine. It's going to be backwards. There we go. Be mine is still backwards for you. But um, little booties, little crib shoes. Okay, let's move on to shoes. Just kidding. I lied. I found another bag. Cozy. Super cozy leopard print scarf leopard print is all the rage right now um this bridesmaid's dress this is um the brand azazi this is one of those uh bridesmaid's dresses that like your bridesmaids can go online and pick different sizes i have actually worn this exact color uh bridesmaid's dress for one of my friends uh weddings and i got mine on poshmark and it was a fraction of the price it would have been if i bought it new off of azazi so i picked this up Goodwill wanted $10.99 for this baby. Um, somebody will be so happy to find this on Poshmark and not have to pay like $150 for it off of the Zazi website. And it will be perfectly matched to the other bridesmaids. No one will know that it's secondhand. Um, this is, I'm not even going to pronounce that because I'm going to butcher it. Really, really cute, like long duster cardigan. I love this. I might try this on myself, but I'm 5'2, so this might be like dragging on the floor for me. <laughs> I don't know. Really cute. Um, so nice. I actually have never sold this brand before, but I've heard good things. 
Um, yeah, it's 100% merino wool, but it's so soft. Okay, now let's move on to shoes. I gotta shuffle things around here because I've got this giant bin of shoes. Okay, so the first thing are these Dolce, Dolce, Dolce Vita boots. I just like the like kind of distressing on these. They're really cool and in good condition. Um, okay, these guys are filthy, kind of gross, but they're Jeffrey Campbell, so these just need a little bit of a bath, and somebody's gonna love these. They're like a rain boot. I'm gonna try those on. They're a seven, and I'm a six, but maybe with some socks, it'll work for me. <laughs> I'm hoping. I've sold this boot so many times. This is the Desert Wedge by Tom's in a seven. They need a little bit of a cleaning up, but not too much. Their little Merrell's flats. They've got a Vibram sole. Um, we looked up comps on these and they look pretty good, like $25 to $30 range. So I have no idea what these are, but I think they're just vintage. They're kind of like a elastic strap, rainbow sandals. Tyler found these and I just think they're adorable. So I had to get, pick those up. Unfortunately, they're too big for me. Um, the next thing are these adorable, bo I'm going to say adorable 18 times, uh, a million times, really cute born booties, and they've got this like braided zip pull, and these are like in brand new condition. Born makes beautiful boots. Um, this is actually this Mossimo, but I just really like the buckle, and it's a really nice leather belt. Um, with a peace sign buckle and you can see here Mossimo but it is genuine leather and it's in good condition so somebody will love that as much as I do I hope never heard of this brand before these definitely need cleaning up but I picked them up for style they are called Jacobies um, they are like a velvet like lucite um, like a strap, really cute little heels. These would be great for like a holiday party. We found so many pairs of Uggs, so many, like three or four, I think, a pairs of Uggs. These are disgusting, um, but they're so cute. Little like leather bow. These are going to be an experiment because I'm going to try to clean these. I, I don't even know, but the like Uggs really are super light. So I thought I would try my hand at cleaning them. Maybe you guys want to see that process. See if I can get these uh, to come back to life for me. These are kids, I believe. Yeah, these are a U.S. kids one. These are kids one. Really cute. Hopefully I can clean those up. These are just a pair of Lucky Brand black suede booties. Not, they don't need too much cleaning up. They're in really good condition. Um, Tyler found these and they're super cool find. These Sorel, um, like rubber booties. They are not in the best condition. We did not notice that before we picked them up. That's probably why they were still sitting in a bin. This little heel wear here. But somebody is going to get a really good deal on these and they're still really cute and wearable. So... I don't know, we're just going to have to disclose that. Maybe we won't get any money from them. These might be a loss, but that's just kind of the risk you take going to the bins. I think we just saw Sorrel and we're like, yes, buying those. Lesson learned. <laughs> Here's another pair of Born booties. Perfect condition. Little Ugg sweater booties. Uggs are not like as big of a return as big of a return as they used to be but people still love them and these are in really good condition they're these little sweater knit booties and it is the right time of year for uggs another pair of uggs um these are my size so i might clean these and try them on i've never owned a pair of uggs so you never know i might be a new ugg girl but they've got like a little wooden button really cute shorter style. They're in a six. I'll probably end up just listing those. One more pair of Uggs. <laughs> They're so cute. Um, these I was so excited. I 
only found one and went back to the bin I was like an hour or two later and found the other one. Um, little bows on the back. I wish these were Nora size. They're in a size 9. So I'll probably clean those up. They might go to consignment. I might put them in my popcorn closet. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. These are just really cute. Um, olive, like pointed toe booties. I think they're the brand Restricted. The tag inside is really worn out, but um, other than that, they're in really good condition. Oh, dropping things. Birkenstocks. Um, if you didn't know, this Betula brand, you can see they are also Birkenstocks. So these need a little bit of cleaning in the like footbed there, but other than that, really good condition. And then we found two pairs of these. Sam Edelman's, um, I think they're called like the penny boot. I'm actually holding two left boots. <laughs> one's in a, an eight and one's in a seven and a half, I think. Um, the toes on this one needs a little bit of polishing, but other than that, like they need to be polished a bit, but they're in really good shape. And so yeah, we found two pairs of the exact same boot, just different sizes. Okay, I can't believe I finally made it through everything. That is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see next. Let me know any questions that you have about starting your Poshmark business or if you already have one, some tips and tricks to keep things rolling because this is a lot of work. Like it is a lot of work. It is a fun, fun job. It's a fun business to have, but it's a ton of work. It's a labor of love. So um, let me know what questions you have for me below. Uh, check out my Instagram. I share a lot of things over there and hauls as well. Um, it is at Closet Reloved. And yeah, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I, it really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye.